Max was about three months old, we noticed that he wasn't gaining a lot of weight, but it wasn't until he was between five and six months that we got his diagnosis. Uh, they told us that he had a condition called Swachman Diamond Syndrome that was really rare, um, and his specialist had only looked after one other child with this condition, so it was quite scary, I suppose, that they didn't know a lot about it. Like, that definitely scared us at the start. When I started doing my own research about Swachman Diamond Syndrome, I read that a lot of the children can go on to have leukemia and aplastic anemia and really scary bone marrow complications, which was very frightening as a parent. Like, you don't want to read that your child, you know, has a significant chance of developing leukemia. It was very overwhelming. Um, we felt scared. We didn't know what was going on. I never get used to the emergencies, you never know what's going to happen or you know sometimes he might just have a cold and get a temperature and we follow our protocol but you know you always worry that it could be something more serious and you know he could get sepsis and this could be it, you just don't know. To be honest the doctors they don't give you a lifespan because it's a condition where you know it's so different for every child but I know from my own research and Facebook group that as they get older, the risks definitely increase. I think that people should support Genes for Genes because I believe that every child should have the opportunity to be who they want to be and who they're supposed to be and not have their medical condition, you know, tie them down or not let them do what they want to do. And I just think it's so important because there are so many kids out there with all sorts of genetic conditions.